This is our D100S crimping machine. You have three different options that are available with this machine. You've got your hand pump, your air over hydraulic pump, or your foot pump. All three are 10,000 PSI and all offer definite benefits. The foot pump is fantastic because it allows you to keep your hands on the crimping machine while using your foot to operate the machine. Air over hydraulic, if you have access to an air source, again, is a much faster crimping mechanism. And then of course you've got your hand pump, which allows you to do this and use this machine in any operation. Today we're going to show you how to set up the machine and show you all of the parts that come with the machine. It is going to come with a hydraulic hose that you can use to hook up to whatever source you're going to use, whether it be the hand pump, the foot pump, or the air of a hydraulic pump. Today we're going to use the hand pump. In addition to that, it comes with this piece which is called a pusher. You're going to connect this to the top of the machine and you know you have it connected properly that it will spin freely once it is on the machine. The die is something that comes, you have to provide separately with the machine and we'll put that on in a moment. You've got a bottom plate. You want to lubricate the exterior of the teeth of the die. You then insert your die on top of the bottom plate. What's most important when inserting the die in this machine is that you've got two half moons, one on the left and one on the right, not the top and the bottom. The reason for that is because of the angle of the machine, it's possible for that die to tilt backwards, which will then cause you to potentially damage the die. And then you're going to put your plate on top. And now you're ready to crimp your hose. Today we're going to crimp a half inch hose. In our product guide, we specify that you're to use a 22 millimeter die to crimp this hose and that the specified crimp spec is going to be 23.1 millimeters. To achieve that crimp spec, you're going to set your micrometer to 1.1. And this information is also in the back of our catalog as well as it is available online. The reason we're setting the micrometer to 1.1 is I explained that we're going to look for a crimp spec of 23.1 and we're using a 22 millimeter die. So simple math of 23.1 minus 22, you'll set your micrometer at 1.1. So as we turn our micrometer, we're starting at zero and now we're at one and then we're just going to turn that to be 1.1. And now that is set for a perfect crimp spec. Now that your machine is set and your die is properly lubricated, we're now going to crimp the hose. What's very important is, is you identify how far you're going to put the hose end on the hose. You're going to line up the dashes that are on the top of the hose end onto the hose. You're going to take a marker. You're going to make a mark on the hose. And then you're going to push your hose end on to make sure it gets to the proper depth on the hose. Once you've reached that line, you're now ready to crimp the hose. You're going to insert your hose from underneath. You're going to line the hose up. The dashes that are on the outside of the hose end are going to line up with the top of the teeth. And once you've done that, you're going to begin crimping the hose and begin operating. And you'll see as we do this, the hand pump is going to start pushing the pusher down on top of the compression plate, which will then crimp the hose. You're going to continue crimping until the red light comes on. <laughs> So we've continued to pump until the red light went on and you know that you've achieved the proper crimp spec, at which time you're going to release the pressure by turning this knob on the outside of your pump. Take your hose. Now we're going to measure and make sure you've achieved the proper crimp spec. What we're looking for is the crimp spec of 0.91. So you're going to place your calipers on the outside of your hose inside the ridges and you're looking for a crimp spec of 0.91 which we have achieved perfectly. And that's how you crimp a hose with a D100S crimper.